All right, so just got in from work and update 1.48 for consoles just landed on Dauntless. So let's see what they bring. That's what I hate about updates. It just says half the time with like Rocket League, this uh, Warframe half the time, stability and performance and all that crap. And it's like, it doesn't go into anything specific. You actually have to go online and look for what they've fixed instead of them telling you straight up. Predators guilty of doing that from time to time. Killing Floor 2 nails it with update history on console. It tells you what it adds. We need more of that. <clears throat> oh, so they have added some new stuff. Private hunts have arrived. Oh, this was for the private hunt. Ah, oh, okay. For your own solo experience. Yes, finally. Did I get the stars from earlier? I believe I did, but I did not get my daily drop earlier this morning. So, let's have a gander. What's new in 1.5.5? Well, it just said on the console as it was downloading, it was 1.4.8. What? Yeah, either way. The hunting grounds have joined escalation and trials in supporting private hunts. How did you open the hunt map to the hunting grounds to let the island you want to let travel to? Press the private hunt button located to the left of the back button. No, pressing the call airship button will queue for a public hunt. Do not call airship if you want to start a private hunt. Private hunts are a great way to study behemoth attack patterns, practice interrupts, or explore an island at your own pace. This would be good for me <coughs> in particular. Just because I am getting tired of what I said the other day with going to an island and there being just, it's just full of jabronis that are too low a level and are already bodied and all and need reviving from the get go is just fucking ludicrous. They do need to put a level restriction. <coughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And they do have kind of a restriction. Like, if you go to Slayer's Path, like, you have to unlock some of the islands when you go through the Slayer's Path. But once you've got them all unlocked, no matter what level your weapon is at, you could go to any island and just get in the way of a player that's actually trying to do what you're trying to get carried. It's fucking annoying. We need a restriction. So I'm level 11. And I said this in my previous video. I'm level 11 currently with my hammer. That means here, here, here. I should be at. I should not be allowed to go here, 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 or here. The last six, it should not give me the option to go to. Okay? That should be included in an update to prevent having people too low level trying to join in, constantly need reviving, getting in the way, Messing up behemoth patterns. It just it needs it needs adding sooner rather than later. So yeah, we have private hunt. Is there anything I need to do bounty wise? I know I've got a shit ton of side quests and rumors to do, but. No, no bounties. How many more days do we have left on the... Uh, 27 days, 20 hours. And I only need to go up five more levels. Uh, got this in the bag. <laughs> My best to the maelstrom. Thank you, Gregorio. Right, as with everything new, You know what, let's just take it to Thunderwatch, private hunt. 
And it was the square button down in the bottom right. Preparing departure. Go now. Does the private hunt button actually work or will I still be there with people that need picking up? private I'm on my own island Thunderwatch is now mine and mine alone and with that being said I shall see you all later <laughs>